Hello guys and welcome back. This is Player, and today I'm going to show you another uh, elevator. But this time is not for items. This time is for um, players. And um, by by meaning players, I do not mean any entities because I find them not really working very well. But um, yeah. theoretically, they should be working actually. Yeah. But Maybe they're just um, a little heavier than others, but for me it works very well, but not for other entities. So anyways, um, maybe this is also a uh, thing in order to prevent other mobs from using your elevator intentionally. But um, for me it works very fine, as you can see. and. Um, so the first thing is that you step on the pressure plate and the cylinder pushes you up into the air and then um, the tripwire senses and close off this piston and then um, you will be pulled up using this piston onto the next level and then you walk forward and do the same thing all over again and repeatedly I mean repetitively so you can actually build the thing from there to there and it is a little bit offset but um, for me it works quite well as I want it like so as you can walk forward in order to um, arrive at the level you want and actually stop anywhere you want and I think it works really well so Let's jump right to the um, tutorial for this thing. Let me just get down. Okay, so first thing is you need to have furnaces or obsidians, which is um, which are tower entities, so that they will not be um, pushed by the land blocks. So the first thing you want to do is to actually I will just do the tutorial um, right in the air so, so that I can actually um, destroy it whenever I want. So you will just place down the furnaces, actually um, furnaces or other tower entities or obsidians or bedrock if you are in creative, but if you are not in creative, how? Uh, you just get better rock and you can actually do it still. So, so suppose you've placed um, furnaces or your desired non-pushable blocks um, in place, and then you'll be putting a sticky piston here and a slime block here, which is very simple, which I just destroyed. Um, just a second. Okay, so. Another thing, um, I mean the second thing you need to do is to put a block here and put a redstone dust there and then just put a stone pressure plate. So if you now test this, it will just um, push you up whenever you land onto the pressure plate or in between the two blocks. So um, this design actually is very um, flexible because you can actually adjust the heights to from 2 blocks to 9 blocks the maximum um, pushing or launching distance of slime blocks is 9 blocks I mean um, those really <laughs> um, hard to say but yeah so you can actually do it with 4 blocks as well with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 until just 9 you cannot do it any further because um, slime blocks cannot push you that high but anyways, um, for this tutorial, I will just do it with um, four blocks, actually five blocks, and then the thing you need to do is to um, put a piston right there, and then um, and then just wire this piston with um, redstone, and then uh, redstone repeater and the monostable server creator here and then tripwire hooks on both sides this way and actually what why did I use that okay so I 
Okay, so tripwire hooks. Oh, come on. Why did I just break that? Okay, so tripwire hooks and then tripwire in the middle. Very easy. And then the next thing is to just put the piston right here. And I think that's all. There is two. Ah, you need to put one block there. Okay, so I think it works now. Yeah. So it's extremely easy to build for me and I think for you as well because you actually just need three uh two pieces of redstone and uh redstone pita. That's all you want you need to build for one floor and you can actually adjust the heights. You can actually build this a little lower, maybe um the sticky piston here, and the slime blocks here and uh just a second. I'll just put the furnace here and um, a piece of redstone. Okay, redstone is here. Just a sec. So you can actually do it with this as well. Okay, so you can actually adjust the height very easily and yeah so for me it's a quite quite a good design and um, I really recommend you using this design or actually that design in um, any buildings but I think this is actually more commercial or more fancier than that thing because you need to use fences and piece turns right there or if you don't use pistons, you need to make a, like a bus switch or um, redstone, which may be slower. But for this one, it looks fancy, and you can actually add something like this is the first floor, and um, yeah. So you can see this is the first floor, and then when you go up. This will be the second floor. How do you draw a second? Actually, I should draw that further. Sorry for the bad drawing, but that's that's the best I can do. So um, you can know this is the second floor and so on and so on so I think this is actually quite a good design because you can actually add a lot of elements into this um, elevator but um, for that one I think that's a little bit too plain and it's hard to control um, which floor you want to stop because you need to press the button but for this one you can actually just stop walking forward to stop at the floor you decide to go to so I actually think um, this is a much better design than that one so anyways um, again this is another just another concept video for um, using uh, the pulling up behavior and also slime blocks to create a later or other applications so again as I'm having some serious examinations I should have been playing any games but sadly I'm still playing games but um, I think I really need to get back to um, revising and stuff so I hope that I will not be posting any videos in um, these few days but I don't know because I'm a little bit too addicted into this game and all the behaviors of uh, redstone stuff but anyways I think that's all for this video so um, if you guys have any ideas to add um, designs into this elevator or other item elevator just like this one which I'll advertise again let me just do this come on yeah so um, all these things are really cool things and um, so um, the tutorial and stuff for this um, elevator I think that's the end of the whole thing so 
this. I think that's the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, see you, bye bye.